Hi guys. Jackie's here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about VSDC Video Editor, a free and no watermark video editing software for Windows 32 bit and 64 bit. VSDC allows you to edit video files and create videos of all types. It supports different kind of video and audio formats and codecs, including DVD, HD and GoPro videos. In this tutorial, I will try to cover all the most important information about this program, as well as basic steps to help you save your time getting started making video with this video editor. As you can see on the screen, I am currently using VSDC free version which does not include some advanced features such as audio waveform, or hardware acceleration option which you'll get in its pro version. To getting started, let's close this notification. Here you are the start page of VSDC free video editor. It looks very similar to a Microsoft program which has the access menu on top of the window. VSDC main features are positioned at the center of the window. Here you can create a video project, make a slideshow, start a video recording, or import your previous projects. Some of the most important tutorials for beginners are at the bottom of the window. To start editing videos, let's create a blank project. This pop-up window gives you the option to configure your project information like project name, author, description etc. Most importantly, you can set your project resolution and frame rate for the whole project if you want. With VSTC Free Video Editor, you are able to edit 4K video, which is not very popular in free video editing software. If you have 4K footage to edit, you can go ahead with VSTC Free Video Editor. As an example, I will select 1080p resolution and 24 frame project. I will leave other settings as default as I don't need them in this example. Alright, here you are at VSTC Main Editor. By default, the program shows you all the features and editing icons in the interface. It looks a little bit messy if you're new to this program. But if you want to clean it up, or rearrange these icons, just go ahead to View tab on the menu, it will give you the options to hide, or show a specific toolbar on this interface. So, keep in mind that if you're missing something, don't forget to check it in this view tab. In order to add video, audio, or image for editing, you can select adding object directly here at the object toolbar. You can select one or multiple videos, images at the same time. By doing this, the videos will be placed directly on the timeline. Alternatively, you can also drag and drop video directly to this preview canvas. Finally, you can pull out the resource window from the view tab, then add videos, images, or audio file from there. This resources window is similar to media library and other video editors. And you can also move it around the interface and put it at the position which fits your need. Here I have already dropped a video clip into the timeline to show you some basic tools of VSDC. The very first feature you may want to do is the cut, or split video feature. Let's put the playhead at the position you want to cut, go to editor, select this icon. Don't forget to select the video track to activate the split icon. Let's say you wanted to cut here at another position. After that, you can delete the unwanted part by your delete keyboard, or right click and select delete. To joint these sections, just move it on the timeline. Once you perform the split action, each video section will be considered as one layer as you can see on the left side of the window. In the Editor tab, you can also select Crop Video Feature, Rotate Video 2. This pop-up window gives you some options to crop your video. You can drag this edge to position where you want it to crop, and select one of the option below. Here you can set the crop size according to the aspect ratio of the image, object, or the scene. Take the one that fit you need in this pop-up menu. Click OK to go back to the interface and preview the crop section. To rotate the video, click on the video, 
and select these icons. It's very simple. To trim a video, you can simply move your mouse cursor to the edge of the video, hold your mouse and move leftward to shorten the clip, and vice versa. These are very basic features of VSTC. Let's me show you some advanced features of this free video editor before going to the next parts. Firstly, let's take a look at speed ramping option. In order to speed up or slow down a video section in VSTC, go ahead to click on the section that you want to change video speed. Look at the properties window on the right side of the interface. Here you can adjust the speed of your video. Let's increase the speed by 400% as an example. To slow down the video to get a slow motion video, for example you shot in 60 fps and want to slow down to 24 fps, let's reduce the speed by 40%. The result is pretty smooth. Being noticed that VSDC also offers video reverse feature where you can select at the properties window too. Alright, let's take a look at the chroma key feature which can be used for free in VSTC. Let's me insert an example green screen video. This is a green screen animated character I download from YouTube, the quality is not perfect, but we can use it as an example. Let's move it to the beginning of the scene. Now I have my green screen video on top of the background video, if I use the chroma key, or background remover in VSTC. The first video will be overlaid on top of the background. To do that, right click on the green screen video, select transparency, go to background remover. Click OK. Now you can see that the program has detected the green color and remove it. If you want to adjust the chroma key to remove the color completely, simply adjust the min chromaticity threshold on the properties window. VSDC offers a simple and straightforward text editor to add text into your video quickly. To do that, select T icon on the toolbar, select text, drag an area for your text. Type your words inside that area. Then you can customize the text like the way you want such as change the color of the text, adjust the font size, change the font etc. There are many other options to customize your text here. I will not go into the detail here, just to show you the feature, you can customize it as you need. Being noticed that the input text is just a plain text title, if you want to add effect to the text, look for an appropriate video effect when you right click on the text box on the timeline. Apply effect to text title is similar to applying effect to video which I will show you in couple of minutes. Let's add some video with audio to the timeline. I will use some footage of my daughter as an example. Here are the video with audio inside, one thing I noticed that the video track does not give us any information about the audio until we play the video. This is the limitation of the free version, I think. When you upgrade to pro version, you'll get the audio waveform available on the timeline. By the way, you can select split and cutting audio at the properties window on the right side to separate the audio with the video. To change the volume of the audio, you can adjust the audio level at this properties window too. To replace the original audio with a background music, click the music icon and select the file on your computer.
OK, let's talk about adding transitions between clips in VSDC. To add transitions between clips in VSDC, right click on top of the clip, select Video Effect, go to Transition at the bottom of the menu. There are six different types of transition you can choose. You can select one of them, and customize the duration, position of the transition when you double click on the transition layer on the timeline. Let's add transitions to my three clips on the timeline and see how it works. It's pretty smooth when I preview the project. That's one way to add transition between clips in VSTC. Alternatively, you can select all the clips on the timeline and convert them to one sprite. By doing this, you will get many other transitions for your project. Firstly, you need to select all the clips on your timeline, go to Run Wizard at the toolbar menu, or go to Video Effect, Run Objects Wizard. All these actions have the same result. These are the transitions you can apply to your clips. Select each transition by drag and drop it to the box below. If you have a large number of clips, you can select Add Random Transitions Between Clips. When you are done, click OK to create a new sprite. Now you can delete your existing clips without affecting your project. Let's preview the sprite to see how it works. VSDC offers a wide array quick style effect, filters and a bunch of color grading tools you can use to change the color of your video. All you need is to right click on the video section, select video effect, there are different options you can choose here. If you want to manually adjust the color, brightness, saturation etc, go ahead to adjustment, and pull out the tool you need. Whenever you pull out any effect, you can always adjust the parameter at the properties window on the right side of the interface. Alternatively, you can also select a preset LUT, or load new LUT on your computer with VSDC if you want. Finally, when you have finished editing your video, you will need to export your project. VSDC offers a bunch of output options for exporting video, or creating a DVD with preset export profile you can use. Again, this free video editor will not leave a watermark on the output whatever you choose in this export tab. However, there is not option to accelerate the speed in this free edition. If you want to export your video faster, consider to purchase VSDC Pro version. There are download links and discount coupon code of VSDC in the description of this video. Don't forget to check out the description. That's the end of my video. If you have any question about this software, don't hesitate to ask. I am very happy to help. Thanks for watching and bye for now.